Hi and welcome to Young People and the Rosary. I'm Abigail and this month, the month of October, is the month of the Rosary in the Catholic Church. So to understand better what that's all about, today we'll be looking at what is the Rosary. So to understand better what that's all about, today we'll be looking at what is the Rosary. So Chapa, help us understand what is the Rosary. This is popular among the Catholics. It dates back to the year 200 AD and over time it has been built with various events that have happened, various prayers that have been introduced through Our Lady and also through other experiences that the faithful have gone through that have helped us to build the Rosary into what it is today. Now when we come to the month of October and how we know it as Catholics, we normally regard the month of October as a very important month. We say the month of October is the month of the Rosary and one may ask as to how this came to be. So two reasons. The first is an event that happened around 1917 in which Our Lady appeared to three children. So these children were Francisco, Lucia and Jacinta. So Our Lady appeared to these three children while they were they took the sheep out to feed and she asked them to pray the rosary. She prescribed to them what prayers to say, which later culminated into the rosary. And when she asked them, this was uh, on the 13th of May in 1917, she asked them to pray for a period of six months. And this means that from May to October 13th. October 13th was the final time that uh, Our Lady appeared to these three children. Between May and October, of course, she was appearing to them and reinforcing those prayers for the three children who also shared with the community that they were living with what they had witnessed. And some of the members actually came to witness this. And so on October 13th, Our Lady appeared in the last apparition to these three children and she actually prayed the rosary with them. And so for that reason, that being the end of that six months that Our Lady had asked the three children to pray these prayers, we regard the rosary as a prayer to be said extensively during the month of October. And then the second reason is that there was a battle that took place between the Catholics and the non-Christians. And so there was a lot that was going on in the world at the time that was really shaking the faith, that is the Catholic faith. And uh, this battle was very fierce. There was a series of battles before that. But then in October itself, on the 7th of October, there was a peak battle. That is the final battle and the battle that was most fierce between the Catholics and the non-Catholics, mostly the Muslims. And so during this battle, the Catholics all along had been losing the battles that they had fought with the non-Christians. And the Pope was quite devastated at the time. And so, during this last battle on the 7th of October, the, the Pope, the then Pope, asked all the Catholics to hold the rosary in one hand like this and their guns or whatever weapons they were using in the battle. And then he also asked the Catholics that were not part of the battle, the soldiers, they were not part of the, the, the fleet of soldiers, to be reciting the rosary alongside the the soldiers. In fact, they were behind the soldiers. And so, as they went into battle with the non-Catholics, who, like I said, they were, they were already winning these battles with the Catholics. The Catholics were seemingly headed towards a defeat. On this day, the Catholics won the battle with the intercession of the, you know, the faithful that were praying in intercession for these soldiers. The Catholics actually defeated the non-Christians and then the Pope fell prostrate on the ground because of this victory, which he attributed to the power of the Rosary and to Our Lady. And so for these two reasons, that is, the three children for whom Mother Mary appeared and had apparitions with, and it came to a close on the 13th of October, and also for the battle with the non-Christians, which came to a peak on the 7th of October, the month of October is regarded as a time when we say the rosary extensively. Although I must emphasize that the rosary is said daily. It's a prayer that a Catholic should say daily. And among the 
the four keys to heaven. The rosary is one of them, which if one has selected to use the rosary as a key to enter heaven, then no doubt that person should say the rosary on a daily basis. So the rosary, this one is the common rosary that we know, and um, this is just quarter of the whole rosary. The full rosary is actually this one, which has got 20 decades. And we know that initially the rosary was 15 decades. But as of the year 2004, when Pope John Paul II added the luminous mysteries or the mysteries of light, it became 20 decades. So this is the full rosary. And this one which we say is just a quarter of the rosary. So that's been today's episode on what is the rosary. So that's only an introduction. So this is a series and hope you stay connected. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment and share as well so that you can tell a friend to tell a friend and so that we all know and learn about our Catholic faith. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Teacher